to my channel. So today I am back with my everyday makeup routine and if you can hear pitter pattering or weird noises, I'm currently looking after my mum's dog. So I have three dogs in my house right now and they all want to be with me, ironically. So today I'm showing you guys my everyday makeup routine because it has been requested quite a lot. I've had you guys messaging me, commenting on things, DMing me, saying what makeup are you wearing, what do you use to wear your makeup, how do you do your makeup? So I thought you know what, I'm going to do a makeup routine now, it's a summer month because my makeup routine has changed quite a bit. And since I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup, I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys my everyday perfume. Because personally, I have been on the hunt to find new perfume, and then Scentbird reached out to me to see if I would like to collaborate on a video with them, which I obviously said yes. So if you don't know what Scentbird is, it's basically a monthly subscription service which allows you to get two or three perfumes per month. And this month I got three different ones. They come in these cute little pouches and I'll just show you what they are. So the first one is in this little silver one. I think Scentbird's really good because I just love trying different fragrances to try and find the one that really suits me. A lot of the time I get bored of perfume so easily. And then I've just wasted like £70 on a bottle of perfume. So the first one I have here is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I mean this is absolutely huge. And I've already sprayed it in here so I can kind of give you my opinion on it. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue is definitely more of a light summery fragrance and I do really like this. I think this is going to be kind of my go-to summer one at the moment. Honestly, when I was younger I didn't find perfume very important and as I've got older I think smelling nice just kind of adds to that appearance. It's so nice when you walk past someone and they smell nice or you go into a meeting and meet someone and they smell nice. It just adds to like your vibe, if you know what I mean. The next perfume I have is this one and it is from Gucci and it's Guilty. I absolutely love this. It's sweet, but it's also mature. Honestly, all of these fragrances, if I wanted to buy them individually from the shop, I would probably spend close on £300 because perfumes are like £50 to £75 each. Like, they're really expensive. Scentbird's a really nice way to kind of try luxury and iconic scents for like a fraction of the price because I think it's $15. It's $15 one of these. That is so good. And also, if you're thinking, I bet they don't have my perfume on there. They have 450 different perfumes. They have so many. It's so good. The last one I have here is by Toka, and I've never heard of that brand. I've never heard of the brand Toka, so I thought I'm going to try it. And this is their scent, Stella. And I absolutely love it. I think it's really... This is really feminine. I have been lucky enough to be able to give you guys a discount code, so if you click the link in the description and use my code, you will get 30% off your first month, which will make it just $10. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. So yeah, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend a scent bird. I'm gonna pop this on right now. I've been waiting all day to put my perfume on so that I can put some of this on. Oh, I just ate it. Oh, didn't taste too good. But yeah, thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link in the description if you're interested. And let's get into today's video. Hey guys, so I am absolutely crossing my fingers that this is in focus. I'm pretty sure it is can't really tell but as I just said I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup on a daily basis honestly sometimes I don't really wear makeup on a daily basis like today I wouldn't have put makeup on if I wasn't filming this because as you can see I've got really clear skin I'm very fortunate the other thing I have done is popped my eyebrows on because I do need tinting so they're quite light at the moment but yeah I'm not going to ramble I'm trying to get into it and then talk to you as I go so I'm trying to pin my hair back and then let's get started. So now my hair is out of my face, I'm going to go in with my primer, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I got this recently when I was in France and I honestly only use like a tiny little bit where I tend to get kind of oily, which is my T-zone. I don't have oily skin or anything like that, but my skin can get oily throughout the day. But in general, it's not greasy or anything, I'm quite lucky. If you guys are interested in seeing a skincare routine, then I would definitely say check out my recent morning routine because I showed you what I do to my skin in there. But as you can see, I'm quite tanned and, you know, for some reason my face always looks lighter on camera and the rest of my body looks darker, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just the exposure. But now that I've done my foundation, not my foundation, my primer, I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. I use the YSL All Hours Concealer in the shade 4. It's slightly too light to me, but it works. Guys! I'm dog sitting right now and I have three dogs in my house. So there's going to be a lot of pitter pattering. So I'm just going to pop this concealer on any blemishes I have. Like I said, I don't have any spots right now, but I do actually suffer from scarring, which is 
really annoying. Do not pop your spots. I wish someone told me this when I was younger. No one ever told me, so I just went in. So I have scars from when I did that. And I use my finger to blend that in. Yeah, I did my eyebrows off camera but just because it takes like it takes me quite a while to do them and get them right and when I do it on camera I feel more stressed. So I never get them perfect, but it's really easy to do. I'd use a pomade and a little brush. Well, it's not easy to do, but it's not this fun to do. So now that I've gone in with concealer, I'm gonna be using this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick. This is slightly too dark for me, as you can see, like it looks dark against my, well it doesn't look super dark against my skin, but it is slightly too dark for me so I'm going to go in with it very sparingly um, and just kind of blend it in so it matches and then I'll use like a little bit of concealer to lighten everything up. But this is like a really light coverage which is why I like it because it's just really like, it's really versatile and really kind of like, you can use it as a contour stick or anything like that. When you blend it out it is like really sheer as you can see it just adds a little something but nothing too crazy I've recently tried to stop wearing foundation just because I feel like my skin doesn't need it like I'm really lucky with my skin I've kind of got out of that teenager phase of having spots and I don't have spots anymore. I get them sometimes when I'm on my period and it's that time of the month, but other than that, it's not something that I suffer with, so I've been really lucky in that way. But I feel like if you can get away with not wearing foundation, definitely do it because it's so nice if you've got something on your face, you can just rub it off or if it's itching you or anything like that, you can just rub it off instead of worrying about your foundation. So as you can see, my skin doesn't look massively different. I've just popped a little bit of foundation on, but for me I feel like it's kind of like a comfort blanket in a way because I'm so used to wearing it. And I don't know, I feel like my face is really bare without anything on it. I personally don't really like the way like bare skin looks sometimes. I feel like it could look a little bit weird, but I don't know. This is a really good one for me. If you're looking for something more like coverage for the summer, I would definitely recommend this. It's a gem. I'm so glad that they sent it to me. Now for contour, I'm going to be using another one of the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Sticks. And they have a really wide um, colour range. As you can see, this is quite deep and dark and I'm going to use it as a contour for that reason. So as you can see, they do have a big shade range because this is obviously a lot darker than me. And I'm just going to put a tiny little bit there. A little bit of this goes a long way, as you're about to see. But that's all I use it for here. I don't use it to contour anywhere else on my face, just the cheekbones. And then I go in with this brush from me, and this is a special finish brush. And I kind of blend it into my hair first. And then I gradually bring the motion down. And I always tilt my head like all the way like this when I'm doing it. As you can see, it just gives that kind of structure to the face a little bit more. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah. I love this product. I'm just going to pop a little bit more of the um, foundation here. I always miss this area of my face for some reason. Like, this area of my face is always like a completely different colour to the rest of my face. I don't know why. I always miss it. There we go. That's better. So for contour on the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with this, and this is from the brand Me, and it is their Double Delight Blush and Bronze, and I'm just going to use the contour side of it, well I think it's more of a bronzer side than contour, and just kind of go over what I've just done to darken it up a little bit, and also go around the temples and the hairline and a little bit on the nose as well, and also the jawline, because I have a double chin, if you didn't know. I've got like a natural double chin, like you see this, I can't get rid of it. I don't even know if it's a double chin or just the way my face is made. Okay, so that is it for contour. And now I'm going to do my eyeshadow because I do actually just use my contour shade for my eyeshadow. I just swirl it around in a little brush from Blank Canvas. Best brushes ever. And just add it to the crease a little bit. Just Sorry, my camera just turned off. 
As I was saying, I don't know if you can tell, but when I put my eyeshadow on, I actually kind of do a sweeping motion outwards like this to try and elongate my eyes a little bit because I have big eyes, but they're not like long. They're kind of just like big. Excuse the dogs, look at them. There are so many here right now because I'm dog sitting. Lola! Stop! So that is kind of all I do for your eyes. It's really, really simple. And then I just go in with a tiny little bit of eyeliner and do my waterline with it. Do you guys think it makes a difference? I think it makes a difference. I've done this eye and not this one. I think it makes a difference. So the next thing we're doing is blush. And I use this one from Milani. It's one of their baked blushes. Blush is only something I've recently got into and I've found that this is like my favorite color to use. It's like this peachy, pinky, coily thing. And my mom's dog is trying to eat my makeup. Can you hear her? She's a French bulldog. She sounds like a pig. Sit. 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 So I'm going in with blush and I just kind of smile and then follow it up my cheek. And then I do like to blend it out properly. And then finally for the eyes, I go in with a little bit of mascara. I use this one from Burberry. It's my absolute favorite. And I just pop a little bit on the lower lash line. If you can't tell, I have eyelash extensions. So that is why I don't have anything on my upper eyes and why I don't go so crazy. I get a lot of questions about them and honestly, I would really recommend them. But you just have to be super careful who you go to to have them done because, I don't know, like if someone wrecks your eyelashes, your eyelashes are wrecked. It's going to take ages for them to grow back. My lady is amazing. She does the Russian volume lashes on me and they're amazing. They're really, really good. Since I'm filming, I'm going to do a little bit more than I usually would and I'm going to go on with my Burberry oh. highlighter and just highlight my nose a little bit and my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin. And just kind of dust it around a little bit. Way too harsh. There we go. It's a little bit better. Finally, the last step is lips and that is a little bit of lip balm for me because I love lip balm. This is my favorite. It's from Tropic and it's just their um, like clear one. It's really good and smells really, really nice. I cannot tell if this is in focus or not. I'm so stressed out. Got some eye teeth. Can't wipe my teeth off. I'm thinking about getting veneers, but I'm not sure. But that's something that I've been considering because I have a few crooked teeth. Like I'd like to get this one Hicks and this one. But who knows, I might do it, I might not. And then for lipstick, I'm going in with the Revlon. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Pearl and it's number 420 if you're looking for it. And I just kind of lightly dab that on her lips. I don't like fully go in, just a little bit. And that's it for my makeup. It's so easy. So that is my makeup completely finished. I still can't tell if this is in focus. But yeah, if you follow me on Instagram and you've been asking what my everyday makeup routine or what makeup I'm wearing, it's going to be this because this has been my makeup routine from like April, I guess. So quite a few months now. And I feel like this is really working for me. I'll probably switch up a little bit when it gets to the winter times. But for now, with the warmer weather and everything like that, I'm really enjoying just kind of having bare skin. Bare skin, kind of. Bare skin for me, I used to wear like full on high coverage foundation and now I just wear like a tint, like it's barely there. It's just a comfort blanket for me. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Honestly, I love Scentbird, like I just love Scentbird. If you guys haven't already clicked off the video and like gone to purchase it, you should definitely do it because I can never find a perfume that I love enough to keep forever and they're just so expensive. Like, I'm currently on the hunt for my signature scent, and I feel like Scentbird is going to be the way to find it. So, yeah, if you haven't already checked it out, the link's in the description, and I know you guys will love it, so, yeah. But if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a comment and let me know, and also leave a comment letting me know what videos you'd like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and little Jimin, little Jimin here would like to say goodbye. Say bye, guys!
Bye guys, love you, thanks for watching.